Alright, it's a new day. Which means more Phoenix, right? Alright. Now let's see. What happened last time? I kind of don't remember a lot of it. Um, because we just, I guess, you know, we just finished the uh, Rise from the Ashes case, right? And we started on the Justice for All uh, game. We did the tutorial case as well as starting the first like, actual, like, full on, uh, full fledged case, which involves, I guess, let's see, try to remember. We went to Maya's village, you know, with some like surgeon guy. He wanted to use Maya's powers to contact some dead person so he could be acquitted, I guess, from all of the bad rumors surrounding his little like uh, clinic, you know? Because apparently this person, I guess, died from a car crash, I think? Something like that. And um, he wanted to pin the blame on the dead person, I guess. Um, I think his name was Turner Gray, yeah? Uh, while we were, you know, exploring the whole village, Korean village, I guess, um, we got sucked into a murder mystery once again. Maya is blamed for the murder of Turner Gray because apparently, while we're doing, they were doing their little whole like spirit channeling thing in inside an isolated room. Uh, she stabbed him and also shot him, I guess, maybe. But then during the actual trial itself, we were debating, you know, like, what's with this bullet wound, you know? Why is it, uh, or rather this bullet hole, why is it, um, uh, shot through her costume, her little, like, robe? Um, not from point blank, for, but from far away. That doesn't make sense because the, the, the scenario that the prosecutor, uh, Francisca von Karma, um, created was that the, that the Maya shot him point blank, right? Or, he shot her point blank or whatever, but as it turns out, there's some distance between them because of like um, gunpowder residue or something like that. I got stuck on that part, I remember. Um, but yeah, and so the trial's not over yet, I guess. It says here part two, two, part two out of two. So there's still more trial stuff. So let's see. Let's return to the courtroom. Yeah, that was a close one. Got a lot of penalties, you know. I know you were trying. Uh, I know you were giving it your all to defend me, but I could feel the death penalty hanging in the air. I felt like I was pretty close to dying myself. You know, they mentioned something about like yeah, self defense, you know, and stuff like that. I guess I uh, no, I don't know. I think I've read somewhere that in the Phoenix Wright universe, anyway, that self defense, I guess, is not as um. I guess lax, you know, in the real world, you know, normally I guess. I guess maybe in North America, if you get self-defense, you know, it's not that bad. It's not as bad as like murdering someone, like homicide, first degree murder. Um, but I guess in the, I believe in the, you know, just old like Japanese law, I guess, which is the game, you know, kind of based on, not really, but sort of. A little exaggerated, obviously. But getting self-defense in the Japanese, uh, in the Japanese legal system, at least, again, traditionally in the old ones, um, was pretty bad still. You know, still as almost as bad as murdering someone, I guess. Maybe, maybe something like that. Anyway. But uh, you are wonderful out there. You listened carefully, made theories, and tricked everyone into believing you. Yeah, yes. That's what lawyers do, they trick everyone. Thanks. Wait, tricked? That must be the lawyer's sec uh, secret technique, right? By the way, is the next witness who I think it is? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Lotta Hart, again. Oh, I guess there's no escaping her, huh? Remember, Nick, you promised you'd save me. If you lose, me and my sister's ghosts will come after you and haunt you. Your sister? Um, are you talking about Mr. Mystic Mia? Yeah, do you remember her, Pearly? My sister was a super good lawyer. She was also Nick's teacher. Oh, I didn't know that. Hmm, okay, yeah. I was wondering, like, you know, she didn't hear about lawyers before. You know, Mia was a lawyer, but I guess Pearl was too young, maybe? Or, yeah, maybe Mia left the village a lot earlier than, uh, than when she was born and stuff. Maybe. 
Court will now reconvene. Now, the first order of... Ow! I don't want to hear it, old man. After I call my witness, sit there quietly and watch like a good little boy. Yes, sir. Bring in the photographer who witnessed the channeling. I don't know what voice I'm giving to Von Karma, I don't know. I mean, Von Karma, I guess she's supposed to be like German, she's from Germany, but... I don't think... I don't know, I don't know how to like do a German... I mean, I don't know how to do accents again. I don't know how to do accents, really. A German accent? I don't think she's... I don't know, I, would, I wouldn't imagine I have a German accent though, I don't know. Anyway. Witness, your name and occupation if you please. Hey, Phoenix, how you doing? Just fine. Sorry about this. Didn't exactly have a choice, you know? Elza! Name and occupation. I declare, what in tarnation? Hey, Judge, this here is violence against my fair self. That's fine. That's fine? That ain't fine. That's a whip. <laughs> He's whipping everyone. There's no need for foolish outcries and foolishly foolish fools. Just hurry up and testify about what happened on the day of the murder. I haven't gone to say my name and job yet. <laughs> that, that name's Lotta Hart, paranormal photographer, and I'm here to testify. Now, now, let's all be one big happy family, okay? Let's get whipped, though. Okay. Only the doc and the defendant went to the channeling chamber. We were waiting outside the door and then bang, we hear this gunshot. Mr. Lawyer there broke the door down and we rush into the room. Inside was the dead victim and the defendant waving a pistol around. I swear, other than those two, I, there was no one else in the room. Hmm. And did you take a picture of the scene right after the murder took place? Reckon course. Eh? Excuse me? Reckon course. It's sure for your reckon. Of course I did. <laughs> Don't think that's real. Does it look like I care? Just hurry up and show your picture to the court. The moment of truth. What will be in that picture? Um, let's see here. This here's the picture. <laughs> My open gun. It would certainly seem that only the defendant and the victim were in that room. Hmm. You know, I'll imagine her... I don't know, I thought she was in the other one. Like, I don't know. Are you ready, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Oh, hold on, I, I want to look at the picture. Because, uh, I don't know, I, I thought she like... At least with our theory anyway, she was over here, right? The back, the back uh, corner of the room. I also imagined her when we like broke into the room. We, I also imagined her to be somewhere over there. Um, but I guess she's over here. Hmm. Like facing her back towards us. Weird. At least when Lada took the picture anyway. I will clear all doubt about Maya through this cross-examination. Just watch me. Just watch me. Okay. Was it really only only those two that went in? What are you babbling about? You were there too, were you not? Uh. Why don't you answer that yourself? Was it really just the two of them? Yes, Dr. Gray and Maya were the only two that went to the room. Hold on, we can't have the defense testifying against his own client. Anyway, folks, only the two of them went to the challenge chamber, you hear? But you knew that from the very beginning, didn't you? Witness, continue. Uh, waiting, and then there's a bang. Hmm. Was it really a gunshot? Are you insane? You must have heard it as well. Uh, <laughs> Phoenix is just giving the same testimony. Why don't you testify for the court, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Was it really a gunshot? Yes, I I think it was something like a like a gunshot. Why are we here listening to the defense testify? And the world becomes just a little crueler. I heard a gunshot a long time ago, so I know. I gotta tell you, that was a gunshot I heard. I mean, yeah, a lot of... We know this. A lot of did hear a gunshot before. Now this, this is where the story heats up. 
knock the door down, you rush into the room. So let me get this straight. This Mr. Lawyer there broke the door down? Honestly, Mr. Phoenix Wright, why don't you tell us what happened then? Um, yes, Miss Von Karma, I broke the door down. Sorry. Why does this feel like an Inquisition? Nobody expects the Von Karma Inquisition. No need for apologizing, that was great, you're a real man. Oh, oh really? That's something I would've liked to see. The judge is smiling rather openly. I'll take that as a good sign. And what did you see once you broke in? Inside was the dead victim. Waving a pistol around, apparently. Are you sure it was the defendant, Maya Fey? Sure, I'm sure. Lada seems awful confident in her testimony. Oh, Lada, please, think back to that day one more time. What you getting at? Remember what you said when we broke into the room? We saw him on the ground, he's dead. Yeah, we like we kind of like slide to the right, right? I thought she's like in the back corner, but you know, when she took the picture, it was somewhere else. I don't know. Again, see, like this. I thought she'd be around here. But she's over here. Mm. Click, click. Now, these are perfect for snapping up shots. The scout, is she Maya? I don't know. Is she? Looks like it. When you saw the murderer at that time, you couldn't even tell if it was Maya Fey or not, am I correct? Um, well, you see... Order. Miss Hart, you are here to present accurate testimony. Yeah, sorry. Good, this shifts things back to my side. For a defense lawyer, your defense is terribly lacking, Mr. Phoenix, right? Witness, think back to when those two entered the channeling chamber. When they entered? One of those people that entered the chamber was Maya Fey, correct? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it was Maya that went in. Hmm. It looks like we've come to a collective conclusion. The person in this picture is most certainly Maya Fey. Exactly. Rats, and I'm trapped like and I'm trapped like one again. Trapped like a rat. In the old mouse trap. Are you absolutely certain of that? Sure am, but that old witch chased us out of the room, so Old Witch, does she mean Morgan Fay? But there was no one else in there, you know it. And 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 you know it. The channeling chamber was very dark, almost pitch black. Was there really no one else in there? What about... Hmm... What was the, uh... What were the options? Behind the folding screen, under the floor... I mean, I don't know, can you? I mean, it's possible. And behind the door, maybe? I don't know, someone hiding... That not that classics, you know? A classic stealth joke, you know, you, you open a door and they're actually like behind the door when you open it, but you look in the room, there's no one there. Are they under the floor? What about under the floor? Did you check there? I ain't no ignoramus to make it out of here. What? Huh? What are you talking about? No, what are you talking about me? Under the floor? Come on, even a bug wouldn't crawl under that. Sorry to disappoint, but there was no secret passageway under the flooring. How do you know that? Objection. That's a bit far-fetched. Hmm. I was with her, so I know she's telling the truth. Enough. It seems there are no issues with Miss Hart's testimony. At the time of the crime, only two people were in the challenge chamber. The victim, Tur Dr. Turner Gray, and the defendant, Maya Fay. Hmm. Hmm. The face of the defendant cannot be verified in this picture. However, if we think about the circumstances, it would have to be the defendant. Now what am I gonna do if I just let this go? What is it, Mr. Wright? You look as if you have something to say. If I make one wrong move, I'm gonna have the judge against me. Is there anything I can present that can prove it's not Maya in this photo? 
Okay, it's proven that's not Maya. Actually, can I look the picture again? Um... Wait a minute, I, I think I noticed something actually. Because we were we were really focused on this part, so it, you know, pops up. Pops up in my head a lot now. But there was a bullet hole, right? Look, there's a bullet hole. We were we were talking about this like for like ten hours. Well maybe not maybe not ten hours, but that But we talked about that for a long time. You know? Obsessed over that. And so I've noticed there's no bullet hole. At, at least it doesn't look like it anyway. Unless I don't know if you, I don't know if you can turn around and you know we can see maybe a bullet hole, but otherwise I don't see a bullet hole around here. Her sleeves anyway. So I think that's what we need to point out. Maybe? I think so. Unless I'm wrong, I might be wrong. Did uh did Lotta take more than one picture? You know, because maybe she has a picture where she turns around. I'm not sure. Let's see. Your Honor. Mr. Wright. It is possible that the person in this photo is not the defendant. What? Do you know what you're proposing? Yeah. That's just plain fool's talk. Well, thanks, thanks guys. Your show of support was just great. Now then, Mr. Wright, please show the court some proof. Prove to this court that the person in this photo is not Maya Fey. I'm gonna show the costume. I might be wrong, but I might be, again, jumping the gun! Let's see. Oh, here is your proof. Is there a problem? Oh, okay. I might, I might get a penalty after all. It looks like it. Just wondering what an objection with a twist of your wrong sounds like. Oh. Mr. Wright, I'm sorry, but I don't follow your logic. Oh, okay. Well. Shoot. Um, hmm. We have an option to not show evidence. You know, I remember in, you know, um, Rise from the Ashes, the last case we did, in, at least in the first game, you know, sometimes you don't need to, like, present evidence. Sometimes you need to wait, right? So is there anything else that can prove that doesn't belong to Maya? Uh, fingerprints. Yeah, it has, it has Maya's fingerprints, so uh, that's obvious. More plans? Hmm. We ha again, we have that theory about um about Maya being in the back corner, and I don't know why she was doing it in front of the screen. There's supposed to be a hole, right? A hole in the screen thing, you know? But you can't see it, so... I don't know if that is relevant for anything. That doesn't really prove that's not Maya, though. Hmm... If only she could turn around, that'd be great. Because I think, yeah, presenting the uh, the clothes doesn't work because we don't even see the bullet hole. We can't, we can't look in front of her. The picture doesn't show that. So... I think... Hmm. Okay, I think, yeah, we should just wait and see for a bit. Maybe Lada has another picture. That would be great. Unless, well, well let's see. Well, Mr. Wright? Uh, nothing, Your Honor. That's very smart of you, Mr. Phoenix Wright. You really should give up trying to prove this is not my affair. I didn't say anything about giving up. Oh, we, we literally did pick the option to give up, though. I just don't have the right piece of evidence to prove my argument. That's enough. Is this it? This is all I could do? Well, I, I guess, you know, maybe I got a bad end after all, I don't know. I think it's quite obvious to this court that a verdict of not guilty is not possible. I told you, totally 100% impossible. Ms. Von Karma, do you have any further questions for this witness? Having established the defendant's guilt, further questioning won't be needed. What about the defense? No further questions, I presume? I couldn't protect Maya. Uh-oh. The defense? The defense? Phoenix. Phoenix, you can't make that kind of face. A lawyer is someone who smiles, no matter how bad it gets. Mia! Oh, what? Wait, uh, you, 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 Pearl? 
taking over Pearl's body now? Hmm. I guess I made it just in time, wouldn't you say? Y you but Pearl's. Her clothes are a bit small, <laughs> even smaller. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, what are you waiting for, Phoenix? Let's go. But how? She's already taken every advantage. The advantage is still in your hand. Think carefully, one more time, about what you saw in the channeling chamber. Do you remember what you told me yesterday? I was wondering, yeah, I, I, there was an option, uh, people hiding in the floor, someone hiding behind the door maybe? Can we? I don't know, can't tell. I don't know. Anyway, you barge in, Lara takes a photo. Maya? Question mark says I was murdered. And Nani? And then another photo, right? Yeah, I remember. She took she took two photos. At times like this. You see, there's one final piece to this puzzle. Mia? Question Lada one more time, Phoenix. I don't know if she's doing it unconsciously or on purpose, but she's not testifying truthfully. Again? Lada, stop lying. It's perjury, you know? Now then, this court would like to end the cross-examination period. Hold it! Please wait, Your Honor. The defense would like to request that the witness testify one more time. Overruled. I'm afraid you're too late, Mr. Wright. The cross-examination has already ended. Furthermore, any unreli- Ah! It's fine. I'll allow another testimony. Avon Karma's case is perfect. Absolutely flawless. And what better time than this for you to see that? But, but I, I mean, I have some place I must go after this. I need to get lunch. Ah! Uh, Alright, I'll allow it. Miss Hart, hurry up and give us another testimony. I'm starving. Well, heck, what am I supposed to talk about? Oh, please, please tell us once more what happened when you burst into the channeling chamber. Okay, you got... See, you got through to the just somehow, right? Uh, I think... I think actually, uh, Franz yeah, Francisca helped us. Ironically, I don't know. I don't know if she's doing it out of arrogance or she's actually like helpful. Mm. He does whip everyone a lot, so I don't know. Let's see. See, we want to get her to say that she took two pictures. I want to see that other picture. When we broke into that room, all I could focus on was Maya. I was uh, kind of scared of dead body, so I didn't take a good look at it. I'm really bad when it comes to blood and ghosts and stuff. But I still managed to point my camera at Maya and take a shot. Nothing sounds different from before. Well, some parts of her testimony were very vague. I should press her on those sections. Press, press, press. Struggle all you like as, your taste, as you taste the bitterness of your defeat. Well, amuse me with your questions, Mr. Phoenix Wright. I'm waiting. Your useless questions are not useless, Von Karma. By asking questions, I progressed the game. So, what did she look like? You know, she looked almost like a different person. A different person? She may have seemed like a different person, however, she was still Maya Fey. We have already made that point abundantly clear. Yes, that is true. Well then, Miss Hart, did you happen to see anything else? I'm kind of scared. Then perhaps that body was not Dr. Gray's at all. Yeah, well, I reckon that's possible. If the body inside that room was not that of Dr. Gray, then whose body was it, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Well, what if it was that of Maya Fey after the challenge? Or maybe... Ah! <laughs> foolish fool spotting foolish foolishness just as I expect of a foolish fool such as you. If that were the case, then that would mean that Maya Fey is in fact dead. And that would make the defendant ch defendant's chair quite a lonely place, wouldn't it? Uh, sorry Maya. You killed off Maya, fictionally. Are you done here? Can I continue? I'm really bad when it comes to blood and ghosts. Okay. And even knowing that, you still persist in being a paranormal photographer? But that's why I'm getting out of this here business. This gal's gonna get the dirt on the stars and be a tabloid photographer from now on. 
as she goes through jobs faster than a baby through diapers. Ah! Mr. Phoenix Wright, would it kill you to stay on the topic for a change? Well, would it, Mr. Wright? <laughs> nice tag team in stereo. Guess I should be grateful it's not in 5.1. Uh, audio jokes. Amazing. Well, two, right? Two what? Two shots. You took two shots. But only one has been submitted as evidence. Well, Miss Hart, where's the other picture you have been withholding? No, 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 you got it all wrong. It's not me. I didn't mean anything bad. I know it can be a little mean, but I ain't evil. Well, at least she knows herself. Then why have you not shown this other picture to the court yet? Well, ain't it obvious? That prosecutor woman told me to shut my trap about it. What? V Von Karma. Obviously, she's prepping the witnesses, just like her father. Miss Von Karma, you're hiding critical evidence? Unforgivable Von Karma. Suppressing evidence like this, you're just as bad as your father. Your Honor, the defense asks that the Prosecutor Von Karma be held in contempt of court. Hmm, well, uh, me, in contempt of court. You can't be serious. But, but you hit evidence on the court, on purpose, that's, that's... That's not fair. Hmm, that's not fair, Wah. Phoenix, are you a lawyer or a school child? Ah, I was so angry I lost my composure. Miss Von Karma, would you care to explain yourself to this court? I thought this picture was not important and thus felt no need to submit it. That's all. Uh, how could you think? The pictures were more or less the same, so why bother with the second? I mean, it's just so much more trouble than it's worth for me to submit this as evidence. More trouble than it's worth? How can you say that? If you want to see it so badly, I'll submit it. Okay. Well, let's look at it. Oh, there you go. Ah, okay, so... Yep. Uh, we can see here what I was saying before. Also, her face looks completely different, by the way. Hmm. Also, she has bigger boobs. That's the that's the critical objection. Objection! Could it have been Maya? Maya has smaller boobs. Anyway. what is What is this picture? It's obviously the second picture the witness took that day to see the crime. Well, it's a little off-center, but that's what you get with a nervous amateur. Um, I think the important point here is the portion in this photo. This is most definitely not Maya Faye. What is the meaning of this? Now, this might be the break I was looking for. Now, should I or should I insist that the person in this picture is not Maya? Yeah, I'm gonna say it's not Maya. I have proof. Your Honor, as you can plainly see, the person in the picture is not Maya Fey. Y yes I see that. It's not just her face, her whole body has taken on a different appearance. There's only one conclusion that can be drawn then. That somehow this other person snuck in and traded places with the defendant. Order, order, order. Well, yes, I believe you're correct, Mr. Wright. The person who was inside the challenge chamber was not Maya Fey. Mia, we did it! You're too soft. Huh? You're softer than Aunt Morgan's strawberry desserts, Phoenix. Take a look at Prosecutor Von Karma's face. Tisk tisk tisk. She's smiling? I think you'd better continue to worry, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Miss Von Karma, what do you mean by that? Your Honor, I would like for you to take a look at this picture. Nani? This was taken yesterday at the detention center's visitor's room. This is Phoenix Phoenix, uh, Mr. Phoenix's, uh, blah, blah, blah. this is Mr. Phoenix Wright and the defendant, Maya Fay, during his visit. Maya Fay? But, isn't this a totally different person? She looks this way because she is obviously in the middle of channeling a spirit. 
Nani? Can we just submit that to court? The, the supernatural? It's unbelievable that she can... Yet it is the truth. When Maya Fei is in that state, she physically changes the person she's calling. What is this sorcery? Miss Von Karma, a word if I may. Mia? Taking pictures of someone during a private visit is illegal. Surely you must know that the picture can, can't be submitted as evidence. Oh, obviously. I know this picture is illegal. But I never intended to submit it as evidence in the first place. What? What is she? From the moment I showed this picture to the court, this case became all mine. After all, this image has now been forever burned into the judge's mind. That's sneaky. You can't do that. That's cheating. I don't even have a single witty line. It looks like we've been had. I don't claim to understand this, and I still can't believe it. Are you saying that this person, this person has defended my affair? Well, if I give up here, the trial will end. But if I slip up and say something wrong, it will cost me. Is there any way I can prove that the person in this picture is not Maya? I can prove it. Your Honor. Well, the fire is returned to your eyes, I see. This picture... Within this picture lies a critical contradiction to all the testimony up until now. A contradiction? So you think you spotted the problem with this picture? Then earn your keep. Why don't you point out exactly what's so strange about it to the court? I think what was it? I think I was on the left, right? Left sleeve? Like around here? Hopefully I'm right. Hopefully there's not like a small hitbox that I miss. Please direct your attention here. To the sleeve? But there isn't anything odd about it. And that is exactly what is so odd. Something that should be there is suddenly missing. Should be there? Ah! There was a bullet hole in the sleeve of the defendant's costume. If that's the case, they should be in this picture as well. Yep, yeah, I spotted, I guess, I, yeah, I spotted that too early. Miss Von Karma, you, you intended to hide this valuable piece of evidence? You will most certainly be assigned a penalty for this. Well, finally, the prosecutor never gets a penalty. I always get a bunch of penalties. Alright, this should be some major damage to her argument. I don't celebrate yet. You, you like to bring down the mood, don't you? Take a look at Miss Von Karma's face. Ah, she's so confident. She's got that condescending grin plastered all over her face again. Tisk tisk. Jumping the gun again, I see, your honor. <laughs> That's what I do, too. I would like to extend on, on apology on behalf of these incompetent fools. What do you mean? What incompetent fools? If those fools down at the precinct hadn't missed the bullet hole, I would have gotten a report about it. As I didn't, I could not have known that this photo was any, of any value to this case. Hmm, I see. Oh, she's lying through her teeth, I know it. That woman knew everything. The bullet hole, the picture, everything. But you can't prove that. Francisca Von Karma's idea of a perfect case is quite fascinating, don't you think? Your Honor, you need not worry. If you must assign a penalty, I'll personally make sure what that detective gets what's coming. I'm sure there'll be a great gnashing of teeth at his next salary discussion. Oh, poor Gumshoe. <laughs> well, in any case, this is a very big problem. When the defendant was taken into custody, her costume had a bullet hole in its sleeve. However, from this photo, it would appear that right after the shooting, there was none. The judge is confused by this strange twist of events. This is your chance, Phoenix. Load all you've got into this one shot, alright? Oh, got it. Watch this, Maya. You take out a real gun and shoot everyone. No. Your Honor, there is only one logical explanation for the contradiction. 
this picture is fake. It was Photoshop. No, okay, that would actually be bad for us. Um, because we don't have the other or the other photo, you know, doesn't show the face and everything. So, uh, bullet hole was made later. That would make no sense considering the gun was only shot twice, and we did hear two gunshots, right? Bang, bang, right? So you, we got to just say the shooter is someone else. It's not Maya. The, the defendant's sleeve had a bullet hole in it. However, this person clearly does not. There can be only one explanation. The person who shot Dr. Gray was not the defendant, but a different person altogether. What? Order, order, order. If order is not restored, I will suspend this trial. Ah, ah! Yeah, why me? The defense is... The defense's argument is a complete mess. A complete mess? I feel I fail to see how. Please enlighten us. Hey, witness! Ah! What the heck? Is that any way to ask a gal a favor? Be quiet, you. You were the one who said it was only two of them when you entered the room. Well, you know. If you were lying, I swear that my whip would be the last thing you see. Uh, look, sis, you look at my scare, so why don't we say you- ah, I swear, I wasn't lying nothing. There wasn't anyone else in there, honest. You see, now riddle me this, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Where did the Venet vanish to? And where did this other woman appear from? Um, why is it lately all I want to do is cry? Well, if the person in this picture is not the defendant, then this poses two very big questions. First, where did the defendant vanish to? And second, where did this person come from? That's right. Now hurry up and answer, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Oh, come on. You can't fall apart here, Mr. Phoenix Wright. I can't believe that even Mia's calling me by my full name. Naruhodo Ryuchi. But, I mean, how am I supposed to prove something like this? Had enough yet, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Or do you think you have enough in you to turn things around even now? To turn things around? That's right. Mia would always turn things around and change her perspective. Just think outside the box. Wow. Phoenix. So where did this intruder appear from? And where did Maya disappear to? I need to look at this situation from a different angle. Let's see. What if before we broke in, the, the third person was already in the room? And what if Maya had left that room somehow? If I could prove that either one of those conditions were true... Mr. Wright, let's hear what you come up with. I think what happened before we forced our way to the challenge chamber is... Before, okay, before we went to the challenge chamber, well, the, what Phoenix was saying is uh, maybe a third person entered. I mean, that would only make sense, right? If if uh, he's trying to prove two things, um, I mean, if Maya left, and then it will only leave Turner Gray, right? So that would make no sense. Something I can't explain yet. I mean, that's not very convincing. So I think it would only be a third person that entered it, right? Because if somehow Maya disappeared, and a third person you know, shot Turner Gray, that would definitely help prove our case, right? So I think that's what we need to say. Your Honor, I want to present some evidence. Oh, I have, I have, I have, I have to present some evidence? I have proof that there was someone else in the room before the murder took place. Um, uh-oh, wait, I have to prove something? Whoops. Okay, how do I prove that someone else was in the room? That's hard to prove though, because there was a key, right? There's a key that kind of locked the door, so you can't really go inside. Where was she hide? Like, if she was in the room, how'd she get in and how'd she hide in there anyway? There's no secret passage, right? Hmm... Okay, I don't know, maybe... Because there was three options, right? No, technically, well... There's two, I guess. Two of them need to prove either... Prove either someone else was in the room, or prove that Maya was in the room. 
There's this bullet hole, that's weird. You know, there was a bullet hole, and there's another bullet hole. I mean, one one bullet went to Turner Gray's head. The guy's brain splattered, I guess. Uh, but the other one was here, in Maya's costume. Assuming... Let's see. If, assuming this isn't the costume that got shot, someone else got shot. Maya? Or at least a costume somewhere? I don't know. Near the folding screen, maybe. Behind the folding screen? Hmm. I don't think that's what we need to prove, though. In fact, maybe I should prove the other way around? I don't know. Um... Oh, this is, uh, my head hurts. <laughs> hmm... Oh god, what? I can't- I don't know, I can't prove that another person was in there. Murder weapon... Maya's costume... I mean, we can say this again, maybe, but that we already did that, right? We already said that this might be another person, but... But we're trying to say, how did they get there, right? How did they get in the room in the first place? Maybe because they had the key? Um... Oh, who had the key? Morgan Fay, right? Morgan Fay, I think she had the key. It ended up with Pearl, though. Maybe? I'm guessing. Hmm. Pro Prodigy. I don't know if we need to present a profile. I don't think so. Ah, uh, okay. I, I just don't know exactly. Well, I only have two theories. The, the bullet, you know, the bullet, the folding screen, or the key. I'm gonna present the key. I think I'm wrong, though. It's not- it's very unlikely This is that this is correct. You know, either I need to prove either one of those, or maybe I need to wait a bit. You know? Hmm. Let's see. Nope. Penalty. Yeah. Thank you! And, what's the personal design? Don't you see, Arner? I will see what you're actually doing. <laughs> uh, ouch. I think I'm over again. I think the way I'm doing this is all wrong. I'll just start over. What if we pro before we broke in, the third person was already in the room? And what if Maya had left that room somehow? If I could prove that either one of those conditions were true... Okay, this is kind of hard because there's two branches here. We either have to prove that Maya left the room, or that a third person went into the room before we came in. But that's... I don't know. And I, we can also give up, but I don't think that's what we're supposed to do. I mean, the game is kind of like hinting at us to actually do something here. So I have to think about this. Hmm. What's that bullet hole? Again, that bullet hole... Went into my clothes. That makes no sense, though. That doesn't prove that she left the room. Hmm. There's Maya... Or, I don't know, fake Maya? Here's another Maya. Hmm... Someone was in this room? Someone was in this room. Well, I don't know if I can prove that Maya left the room. But maybe we can say that... Okay, look at that diagram again. Maybe we can say someone was hiding somewhere, right? There was three choices, if you remember. Under the flooring, and we picked that option, and, you know, Francisco did say there's no, like, secret passage. There could be someone behind the room, maybe? Oh, not behind, oh, sorry, not behind the room, behind the door. So when we opened the door, someone was hiding here in the corner, maybe. But it was pretty lit up, though. So, I mean, I guess we would see their shadows. I remember candles around here. But I remember, actually, Phoenix was saying something along the lines of how it was pretty dark behind the folding screen. So maybe the third person was behind the folding screen. Maybe? Because I don't think we can prove that Maya left the room. That's like, I don't think that's possible. Because we didn't see her leave or... You know, we don't have a picture of her or anything. That's hard to prove. You know, there's no like security camera in the actual like channeling room, unfortunately. But, hmm... Okay, I'm gonna try. Again, I'm gonna try the same argument. Someone had been entering the room before. My theory is that they were hiding behind the folding screen. 
Though I don't know if I need to prove. I I don't know if I need to present this. Mainly present this. You know the actual like you know four plans. Or maybe I don't know. Let's see. Because if this doesn't work, I'll probably present this, this, the floor plans next. And if that doesn't work, I'm out of ideas because I don't know exactly what I'm supposed to show. Mm. Ah, darn it. Nope. Here's another penalty. Whoops. I try again. Look, I have an argument. I just don't know exactly how to, you know, communicate it. Um, okay, floor plans? Nope, that didn't work. Wow. Hmm. Yeah, I don't have a clue. It seems impossible to prove anyone was in that room. Unless we can show this photo again, that's uh, I don't feel like you sh that that proves anything because we just go back to the same thing where, you know, this is not Maya, this is someone else, and then the judge is gonna be like, well, how do you prove that? How do you, how do you know it's someone else? How did they get there in the first place? It seems impossible. Again, I already presented this, this, and this. I believe so anyway, unless I'm mixing up my evidence again. You know, I might have presented a different argument instead. I think I present the folding screen, I already present the black key, I already present the floor plans, I presented the costume, present photo two. There's nothing else that really mm, guide map again. Not really. That doesn't give us anything. Unless I need to present this as well, because this, this is the only other piece of evidence that somehow relates to the actual channeling chamber, right? That's what I'm thinking. this. Hmm. Um, cause, okay, I mentioned before the folding screen, right? Maybe this photo shows that someone was hiding behind the folding screen? Because it's pretty dark in there? That was what I was trying to say before, that maybe I presented the wrong piece of evidence? Because I know in the photo number two, it's like similar photo, but we don't see the folding screen here, right? So let's focus on the person, not the folding screen. But we can see here is much more balanced, you know? photo. So maybe that's possible? That's what I need to show? Let's try. No, nope, that's wrong too. Wow. I've lost. Well. This case is extremely clear. Maya face guilty. Whoops. Oh wow. The queues were now surrendered and pending, and we die. I lost. Ah, okay, maybe that's that's the problem I'm having. Like, who actually locked the door? I don't remember. You're saying it's Maya? I remember it was Morgan. I thought it was Morgan. She, I thought she was locking from the outside. Ah, uh, but again, like, I just don't remember. I wish there was like a, I don't know, some kind of log. <laughs> you know, evidence log. And we can sh like see what happened before. Well, I don't know. All right. Well, I'm already, I'm stuck. I'm okay. I've been pondering for too long. Maybe I'll try the key. Maybe it is right. Okay, here we go. Here's a key. Here, judge, is an old steel key. All right. So it is correct. God. Anyway. Miss Hart, do you remember this key? I don't. Well, I've seen it. Hey, that's a challenge chamber key, right? Before the challenge started, Maya locked the door from the inside of them. Okay, I just didn't remember that at all. The defendant herself locked the door. Yeah, that's why we all, all, we all couldn't get the door open. That key is only one of its kind, after all. Oh, one of a kind, you say? Wait, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Yes? It looks like she's catching on. I'm afraid to ask, but... Why is that key currently in your possession? Hmm. What do you mean? 
Well, if Maya Fei locked herself in, then the key should have been with her. Well, this is weird logic, but okay. Uh, I guess the idea is that why do I have the key if uh, she was in there the whole time, I guess. Yes, agreed. However, she did not have the key at the time of her arrest. Now, well, ain't that a kick? So how come you're holding it? I got this as a present from a certain little girl. And that little girl was nowhere near the crime scene at the time. Th that's preposterous. This means that Maya Fei must have left the room. If she had not, then I would not be holding this key you see before you. No! No, no, no! Well, there you go. It seems we have come to an impasse. This picture has clearly captured the face of the murderer. However, is this person the defendant or not? The defense is arguing that this person is not the defendant. Furthermore, as proof, this key has been submitted as evidence. Ms. Von Karma. How can this be? At this point in time, a verdict on the defense guilt is not possible. My perfect case. How is there a flaw in my perfect case? Don't you think you've won yet, Mr. Phoenix Wright? I am a prodigy. I've never lost a case. I don't intend to lose here in this courtroom to a fool like you. A whip. I don't care what I have to do. I will get my guilty verdict. That's enough. If you'd like to continue, do so in the lobby. Court will reconvene tomorrow at 10 a.m. That is all. Court is adjourned. Well, that kind of that kind of sucked. <laughs> uh, I still love Phoenix Wright. I still love the game. It's just I hate that part. I hated that part. It's it it probably it's my fault though because I didn't remember that very small detail. I just didn't remember who exactly locked the door. That was the problem. That's why I got stuck for there so for so long. Hmm. Oh well. Well, that was you, Pearly. You summoned my sis. Yes, I felt I had no choice. Great going, Pearly. I knew you were special. Hey, Nick, did you know? Um, yeah, it's not like anyone else in there could have done that. Hmm, Nick. I know you're trying really hard and all, but I really don't remember ever leaving that room. And I don't think that other person could have gone in that, into that room. Oh, yeah. Well, at least we have until tomorrow to figure things out. Like what happened in that room, for instance. Yeah, I'm counting on you. Yeah, I envy the two of you. Oh, by the way, Nick. Do you think you could take Pearly back home for me? Well, sure. Alright, Pearls, are you ready to go buy some tickets? Oh, a ticket? Poor thing. So sheltered. She literally, like, I guess, ran all the way here for, like, was it three hours? In the mountains? No train? It's crazy. Ah, uh, da da da.